Hello everybody, welcome to the Gambler's Guide to Gambling in Diablo 2. In the background during this video you will see 10 million gold worth of gambling happening on circlets and coronets, some of the best items you can gamble for in Diablo 2. But the purpose of this video is to teach you the best way to gamble and what items are actually worth Gambling 4, let's kick things off. What are the possibilities of gambling magic, rare, set, or unique items? Well, the chance of gambling a unique item is roughly 1 in 2,000, so a 0.05% chance. The chance of gambling a set item is somewhat better, 2 in 2,000, 0.1%. Uh, the chance of gambling a rare item is actually fairly reasonable. You have about a 10% chance of gambling a rare, and you have about a 90% chance of gambling magical, give or take. There are a couple of items that you'll want to consider before you start your gambling spree, and that is Geed's Fortune. This reduces the price of all vendors by 10-15%, to 15%, and that also includes gambling. The other item that you may want to consider is a Tear Tal Am um, Edge Runeward Bow, which also reduces the price of vendors by an additional 15%, so that gives you 30% uh, reduced gambling costs. There are a number of vendors that you can gamble from, it doesn't matter which one you choose. It also doesn't matter which difficulty you gamble in, Normal, Nightmare, and Hell are all the same. That being said, it's most logical to gamble in Hell difficulty because when you sell back your items, you get more money for them, and so you can gamble more. When it comes to gambling for items, the level of items that you gamble is equal to your character level, minus 5, 2 plus 4. So if you are character level 90, you could potentially gamble for items which are level 85 to 94. The level of item that you gamble is random between this 9 level range. The exception to this rule is circlets and coronets. They are a bit of an oddity because there is a bonus to circlets and coronets which affects their affixes, making them actually higher than the level of character gambling for them. Circlets get a plus 3 bonus to that level, and coronets get a plus 8 bonus to that level, with tiaras and diadems gaining a plus 13 and plus 18 bonus to that level. When gambling, you will always see the base type of item that you're gambling for, and when you actually gamble for it, it will potentially transform into its elite or exceptional version. So if you're gambling for a tiara or diadem, it would be the coronet that you choose, and then it will randomly decide if it's a coronet, if it's a tiara, or if it's a diadem. Whilst on the topic of coronets and diadems, a character level of 92 is needed to have a chance for plus 2 skills and any other mods that you would gamble on a circlet. A character level of only 87 is enough if you gamble on the coronet base type item to potentially get those plus 2 skill items, which is probably what most people like to gamble for. So what are some good items to gamble for? Well, if you're looking for a particular unique item and you know its base type, you could potentially gamble for that base type to maybe potentially, you know, gain a Shaco or something like that. It's not too likely and it's probably not the best way to do it, but you do limit what drop occurs when you gamble for a specific base type. Actually, when you're gambling, it's really the same as a monster drop, except you know what the base type is and you're controlling what the base type is with your, uh, with your expenditure of gold. Now, in my opinion, outside circlets and diadems, boots can actually be a pretty good item to gamble for. And the reason for that, in my opinion, is that some of the best boots in the game are rare boots, and you actually have a 10% chance of gambling up some rare boots every time you do a gamble. And so if you want to find some of the best boots in the game, those are probably going to be rare boots. And so this is a decent way to roll the dice on those. Gloves are sort of in a similar category to boots, and you could potentially gamble up some interesting rings and some interesting amulets of the rare variety. I probably wouldn't do any gambling for unique rings and unique amulets. Maybe you could try, but uh, your chances are not good. Not very good at all. You're probably better monster farming for those. 
that being said, in Diablo 2, your chances of anything are not good. <laughs> not good at all. So, you know, hey, if you want to try some gambling, it certainly doesn't hurt. And uh, if you put together a nice niche gold-finding build, I mean, hey, who am I to say it's a bad idea with a game that sometimes has players playing for 10 and 20 years and still not finding an item? Who am I to rule out the possibilities of gambling being a good way to uh, find uniques? It's not something I've done a massive amount of. Myself, I prefer the monster hunting, but uh, it is interesting because, like I say, you can control the base type of item. So if you're trying to get something specific, you have actually, like I say, a decent chance to draw a rare item. Another potentially good use for gambling is in controlling the base item level uh, for something like an amulet that you would then later use in a crafting recipe. Since your character level determines what item level you're gambling up, you can quite easily stock up on the base item types that you're looking for for crafting recipes of high level item. Incidentally, we have now gambled away 10 million on coronets and circlets, and we are now gambling away 2.5 million on amulets and then 2.5 million on rings. And by the way, your magic fine actually has no effect on gambling, for those of you who may have wondered. Alright, so now knowing the essentials of gambling, what are you aiming for? What is the true goal of gambling? What are the godly items that you can get from gambling? Well, a coronet, that is either a tiara or a diadem, can come with a jeweler's mod, which gives it three open sockets. The uh, coronet and circlet are popular because they can potentially have plus two to skills and a 20% faster cast rate and these mods actually beat unique item comparables. Amulets also have a good chance of getting plus skills and other good mods and rare rings with faster cast rate and some other good mods can also be desirable. There have been stories of people gambling Stones of Jordan, Mara's Amulet and other such amazing prizes from gambling but such stories are exceedingly rare. During the recording of this video, I dropped 15 million gold pieces and actually amounted to absolutely pretty much darn near nothing. So um, yeah, take those statistics for what you will and gamble away if you enjoy it. And otherwise, I think that's all there is to say about gambling today. Hope you have enjoyed today's video on, on gambling. All right, have a great day, everybody. I'll let the video play through until we identify the rest of this little ring socks, or ring pouch, or wing, ring conglomerate, or this group of rings here that were gambled up for those of you who are curious, but yeah, no, it was, it was pretty much, it was pretty much bupkis. Absolutely, absolutely not a, not a interesting, as you can see. Um, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> All right, have a great day, everybody. Just trust me, there's nothing to see here. Have a great day. <laughs>